Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to part five in our series. In the previous video, we added our hops and Irish moss to our boil. I want to point out this 15 gallon Iglo cooler. This cooler is $25 at Walmart and is great to use with my pre-chiller. I have a half inch diameter 50 foot chiller in the wart and a 3 8 inch 25 foot chiller that goes in my cooler and connected then to my garden hose. So kill the flame after you boil for 60 minutes. I fill up my cooler with about 40 to 50 pounds of ice. I will fill up any plastic container and throw it in the freezer. Do not pay for ice and don't use glass to fill up ice either because it'll explode or crack. Oh yeah. Okay, so just make sure you're not leaking any of the garden hose water into the wart. That could infect your beer. I fill up my mash tun and my hot liquor tank with this water and use it for cleaning. With my system, it takes me about 17 minutes to get boiling water to 70 degrees. This is a good time to sanitize your carboy and anything else that's going to come into contact with your beer. Like strainers, funnels, siphons, scissors, yeast packets. Okay, so keep checking the temp, but make sure you keep sanitizing the thermometer every time you put it back into the wart. Unless your boil kettle has a thermometer on it, then no need. Okay, so everything here has been sanitized, including the silicone hose connected to the ball valve. I like to filter out any remaining sediment with my stainless steel mesh strainer. Okay. Before I pitch the yeast and use the airlock, I want to do a gravity reading. So I use my siphon, of course it's sanitized, to get some of the wart out. Okay, so make sure you get enough wart so that the hydrometer can float. Also, don't put this wart back into the carboy. I probably would if I was doing a smaller batch, like one to three gallons, but for five gallons, it's not worth risking the infection. Okay, so now I'm ready to pitch my yeast and everything has been sanitized. The scissors, the yeast packet, the smaller funnel. Okay, so we're ready to seal it. I have star sand solution in the airlock. I usually have to wipe it down so it's not wet, so the duct tape can actually stick to it. Okay, so put it in the closet and forget about it for seven days. Now it's a good time to check out our original gravity. It's always easier to read when the bubbles have subsided. And that's the perfect OG we are looking for. All right, guys, good luck with this. In the next video, we're gonna talk about dry hopping our mermaid tears. I'll see you over there.